Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Chavi Gupta, your online mentor. First of all, thanks a lot for being a part of the 20,000 people strong community that we have now. Thank you very much. And secondly, I'm sorry. I know I have been MIA since the past few months and majorly happened just because of other things in life. We moved to Bangalore. I spent more time in traveling, gardening and other hobbies I inculcated. But I promise I will try to deliver content to you regularly from now on. But for that, I would really, really request you to turn on your notifications so that whenever there's a new video out, you get notified about it. So with that, let's start today's video. Today's video is mainly about why I left BCG or in general, I would say why I left consulting in general. Now, most of you would know is that I joined the Boston Consulting Group, which is a top tier management consulting firm right after my MBA from IIM Ahmedabad. And I had actually this goal in my mind when I was starting my MBA is that I wanted to get into management consulting. Now with that, why would I leave BCG in around like seven, eight months after joining? Well, I'll tell you the various reasons in this video. But before I start that, I want to tell you that BCG, as any other management consulting firm, is a great firm to have a career at. Consulting in general is a very, very good sector to have your career in. There are so many people I know who are making excellent careers in consulting. So before you watch this video, I would request you to watch my playlist consulting, which talks about what all consulting has to offer, what are the benefits of being in consulting, what is the different work that gets done in consulting look like, and also how to get into consulting. So consulting is a great sector to have a career in. One, it provides you excellent diverse opportunities to work in different industries, to learn a lot about multiple things. It has an amazing peer group that you can learn from. It just sort of pushes you to the boundary of the best. The fourth is that the learning curve is great, not just with the multiple industries, the people, the kind of work you do. Also, the work you do has a lot of impact. You work with really big people, you present to CXOs. So all of that is super amazing. And the exit opportunities are great. So yes, consulting is a great field in general, but like any other career, consulting is not something that just suits everyone. And I think that is what majorly happened with me. So hence, here are the few reasons why I left PCG. The first reason was that while I was doing really impactful work, I was still working on someone else's problem because you're always working on client problems in general. There are some internal consulting as well, but in general, you're working on the client's problem. Now, that generally is not an issue, but I felt that that diluted my ownership a little bit. I felt like I should be working on something where I face the problem, I sort of deploy the solution and I have to deal with the repercussions of whatever the solution I deploy. I think that entire stream of ownership was not there in consulting for me. And being a product manager, I now understand that, you know, ownership is something that just comes when it is your own company, your own product. So that was definitely one of the key reasons why uh, I thought consulting is not a super fit for me. The second reason I think was that because we were working for external clients, hence our entire, you can say schedule is sort of external dependent. So you barely have any level of flexibility because if your client wants you, be, wants you to, you know, sort of work from maybe nine to six, you have to be there at nine. And that is true in general for most of the jobs. But I think the flexibility is even less because you are working for someone external. You have to ensure that you are showing that you are making continuous impact or continuous results to their business. That is how they will essentially want you to keep on, uh, you know, engaging with their own firm. So that was reason number two. If I want to do any bank work on a working day, that was impossible. I had to take a leave. If I had like some plans, if I wanted to sort of work from home, that was really difficult. I mean, in general, it depends on project to project and client to client, but it is the flexibility is definitely less. And probably this is the case with a lot of firms, but with the firm that I switched in, I was thankfully given a little bit more flexibility. So that was reason number two. I think the third reason was that the culture or the precedence was set in a way that even on days when you really don't have to, you know, push a lot or work a lot, it is just expected that you 
just you know uh, get yourself ahead in some work that might be coming in future so essentially do work do try to push even on days when there is not a strict requirement now that is good in general because you learn a lot with that you learn how to work in pressure you learn how to uh, preempt things what are the things that will be required you learn a lot of things with that and you actually learn a lot with your pre- peer group who is trying to teach you that as well but for me it felt like i could not really do it in the long run and that was reason number 3 why i felt that consulting was not really the perfect fit for me i think all of this combined with the fact that i wanted to spend more time on my physical and mental well being and i just have like a range of hobbies that i want to spend time in i think all of that together just made me feel that consulting is not really working out for me that well but all said i met super amazing people in consulting some of the smartest people i know from my batch from my seniors from my juniors are still in consulting and really crushing it they are making like an amazing career out of it i know for a fact that the learning curve i think is the steepest one of the steepest in consulting and if you are like in your phase in the early phase of your career i think consulting joining consulting is an excellent way to accelerate your career but i think just because of all the different reasons i told you i just did not feel i was fitting for a really long term and i got an amazing opportunity so i think all of this combined sort of resulted in me leaving vcg earlier than i would have thought of but i think i am now in a place and i really know what are the different things that i want in my career and i am now in a place where i can have it so when well, this was very very candidly why i left consulting please take this video not as an advice of why not to join consulting or why not to join this entire sector field etc just take it as like views of someone or sort of thoughts of mine when i was taking this decision on whether i should continue with bcg or i should take up this new role that i was being on so that's it from me thank you so much for watching guys please stay connected with me join me on all the different social media channels that are there links for everything is in description below do join me there and write in your comments what do you feel about the video what is it that you would want to know about next 